Johnny, if I wish I'd done a program for my mother, can't believe I never did, mm -hmm. okay? It went right over my head. I was swarmed over with what she was going through. But now I've got friends out there, and you've got friends, and Michael knows people, and there are people across the world that have heard the bad news. It's going to change their life forever. It may shorten it. They may have a duration where they're going to have pain and suffering. To those folks right now, they want to know, what do you want to say to them? Encourage them. Oh, I would tell people first just to take a big sigh. Breathe deep and sigh. And share your sorrow with friends, of course, but please be warned that although misery loves company, it'll drag you down quick. So get around some hopeful people. Get around hopeful people who will pray for you, encourage you, point you to God's word, and then breathe in God's grace, exhale fear. Breathe in God's mercy, exhale anxiety and worry. Breathe in the love of God and exhale fear of the future. And it, it, Michael says a wonderful thing about dealing with uh, pain. His advice is, quote, do the next thing. Just get up and do the next thing. And be looking for other people whose bad medical reports may even be worse than yours. They're out there. They're in your hospital. Um, they're in your neighborhood. They're in your church family. Um, connect with them. Pray for them. Even when Jesus was on his cross, his deathbed, he was thinking about others to his right and to his left. He was taking care of his mother and counseling his, his best friend at the foot of the cross, even as he was dying. And he can give us grace to do the same. And the bright perspective that will overwhelm you when you're able to look past your own diagnosis to the diagnoses of others, that's when healing begins.